Shalom to all. In the Bible there is a person called Samson. When I speak about Samson, most of the people will remember regarding the woman called Delilah. So the marriage between the Samson and Delilah, they, we are believing that it is not the will of God. So Samson loved Delilah because of the lust. That is the belief system that most of the people are believing. But today I want to break this revelation. What is the truth happening between Samson and Delilah? What is the purpose of God? Because the Samson was anointed by the power of God against the Philistines. He have to win a war against the Philistines. But why the Samson went into the people of Philistines and why Samson chooses a woman which is in the people of Philistines. So when coming to the Bible, in the book of Judges chapter number 14 and verse number 2, the scripture says, Then he came up and told his father and mother, I saw one of the daughters of the Philistines at Timnah. Now get her for me as my wife. So Samson going to the parents and the Samson is trying to Samson is trying to expecting a wife from the people of Philistines. And when we come to the verse number three, the scripture says, But his father and mother said to him, Is there not a woman among the daughters of your relatives or among all our people that you must go to take a wife from? the uncircumcised Philistines. But Samson said to the father, Get her for me, for she is right in my eyes. So Philistines are enemies in the sight of the parents of Samson. That's the reason the parents are suggesting, the parents are such giving suggestion to the Samson, don't try to marry from the people of Philistines. But the Samson is replying to the parents that in my sight, in my eyes, she is the right person for me. So can we need to understand this revelation by reading the next scripture, the verse number four that says, His father and mother did not know that it was from the Lord, for he was seeking an opportunity against the Philistines at the time, the Philistines ruled over Israel. So what is happening exactly? Did the, that's the things that are all happening. It was coming because of the presence of God. That the parents doesn't know. It is done because of God. It is happening. It, it, is, it is circumcised by the Holy Spirit. In the verse 4 that says, His mother and father did not know that it was from the Lord. I want to give you this scripture by the power of Holy Spirit and I want to break this revelation. In the sight of Samson, when Samson tries to see Delilah, Samson liked Delilah, Samson loved Delilah, but the main problem is Delilah was from the Philistines. His father and his mother is worried about that woman, because she coming from the Philistines, they are enemy of Israel. The Philistines were enemy of Israel. So Samson was anointed by God to fight against the Philistines. Samson was anointed by God to kill the Philistines. So in the sight of the parents, how come the Samson is going to marry a woman which is coming from the Philistines, although Philistines was enemies of Israel. So his, his anointing, the, the anointing of Samson has to kill the people of Philistines. But the Samson is going to marry a woman from the Philistines. How can we understand this kind of a strategy that was designed by the Almighty God? The parents doesn't know it is from the God. The parents doesn't know it is the will of the Father. 
So the, the Samson is trying to marry a woman. She is Gentile. She is from Philistines. This is the thing that we need to understand. How come we deal with these kind of a things? That's the reason most of the people never try to understand the mind of God. Every time the people are limited, limited, that's the reason they are not able to fulfill the purpose of the living God. But today, I am giving you the power by understanding this message. Don't try to seek a goodness. Try to receive the divineness from God. So the parents, whatever they are thinking, of course, according to the sight of the world, that's good. But when we see according to the sight of the Lord, whatever the parents was doing is not at all will of God. But whatever the Samson was doing, it is the will of the Father. But when we see as our sight, it is not so good. But when we are seeing in the sight of the Samson, whatever he is doing, it is the will of God. So, he is getting a woman from the enemy, from the enemy country. He is getting a woman, he is getting his wife. He is selected, he chosen a wife from the enemies from the group of enemies this is what i want to give you the revelation sometime god every time try to fulfill his purpose by doing something that we doesn't know so in the in the process of the philistines in the time of samson god is doing his will but the samson understand of course but his parents not able to understand the will of the god what about your marriage what about your business what about what about your ministry god sometimes make you to choose someone which is in your group of enemies you need to understand this revelation delilah she's she is she is encouraged by the Philistines to kill the Samson. The Samson know that part, but still Samson loved Delilah. Which kind of a love? Is that love came from the flesh of the Samson? No. The love that, the, the, the love that was carried by the Samson was released from God. So this is what we need to understand. The, the marriage of Samson with Delilah is the will of God. But the parents doesn't know. If you are an Indian, if you are some other country, maybe you are trying to marry a woman who is matched with your caste, who is matched with your religion, who is matched with your background, who is matched with your influence, who is matched with your aromatic scenes, whatever. Don't try to link with your goodness which you are seeking a woman in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, if you ask God regarding a marriage or regarding a business or regarding a job, any other thing, God always gives an answer which you doesn't know, which you never expected from God. That is the answer that was given by God Almighty unto you. So according to the scripture, the marriage of Samson and Delilah is the will of God. Most of the people are not able to resist this. They are not able to believe what I'm saying, but this is coming from the Bible, what you are reading. It is coming from the Bible. The Bible says the marriage of Samson and with Delilah is the will of God. So what is the reason? What is the plan of God regarding that scene? So Delilah loved Samson at some moment, at the moment of beginning and at the moment of last. The Samson was trying to worship God and worship God and worship God. He just loses his faith at some time. Delilah attacked Samson. When Samson was binded in the country of Philistines, 
when Samson was binded by the Philistines, the Philistines, everyone came to one place. That's the opportunity for God's anointing to kill everyone at one point. Sometimes you want to try to kill enemies daily, but God has prepared a only one day event that every enemy came to the presence of Samson. That's the moment of anointing. That anointing of Samson killed everyone. There is a moment in your life that is going to come in the name of Jesus. Don't try to kill your enemy every day on the daily basis. God is preparing something in your life. Whatever you have said, maybe you have 10 enemies, you have a hundreds of enemies. Every person or else every sickness or else every diseases which you call those are enemies. The God is preparing an event in that time. Every enemy has to come to your presence. That's the moment that your anointing is going to kill them at only one point. This is a finishing level. The things that God designed, even a man doesn't have a power to perceive it. A parent doesn't have a power to perceive it. So don't try to link with a woman that she belongs to your background or she, that she belongs to your influence, that she belongs to your religion or cast any other thing. Don't try to connect with them in that form. The parents are trying to say to, saying to the uh, Samson, try to marry a woman which belongs to your brothers. Try to get a woman which belonging to our country. But Samson is saying that, I love a woman which belongs to enemy's country, enemy's nation. People that don't understand the will of Father. It is very powerful scriptural basis. If you need to understand the will of God, you need to come out from the goodness and badness of this world. If you are above if you are above of the goodness and the badness of this world, then you'll understand the will of God. So don't try to be good. Try to be divine. Don't do good things. Do divine things. Marry a, if you're marrying a good woman, you are doing good things. But if you are marrying the will of God, you are doing divine things. So it is your choice whether you are marrying a good woman or a divine woman. Delilah, is not good woman. Delilah is also not a divine woman. But in the will of God, she is the woman that has to be do the purpose of God. That is the reason that woman, that marriage becomes the will of God. So don't try to locate the character if you are going to marry a woman. Try to locate the will of God. In the name of Jesus, if you don't have an ability, here I am to help you. In the name of Christ Jesus, I can communicate with your spirit and I can I, I know what you carry. I know where is your wife. I know where is your husband. I can sense everything in the realms of the spirit by this power of prophetic. I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ by this revelation. Let the will of God be done in your life in Jesus name. Amen. Amen.